In this video, I'm going to show you four different ways to achieve very complicated, very expensive looking camera shots with some affordable, creative, makeshift camera setups for this very slick little 360 camera. The Insta360 ONE X2, which retails for only like 430 bucks. I honestly feel by adding this little piece of gear to my arsenal, the game is about to be changed entirely. You might be wondering why I'm wearing a completely different jacket. That's because this shot was shot five days after that shot because the video is done now and there's something that I forgot to add, which is that all the shots you're about to see were shot in 4K 50 frames. I wanted to utilize the 50 frames so that I could slow down the footage. But for all of those that want to make the footage look a little bit more crisp, there is the option to shoot at 5.7K 25 frames. And at the end of this video, I will put in a snippet showing you what that looks like. Cool. In the industry, you would usually use a fully kitted out truck with a remote crane attached to it like this to shoot really smooth and fluid car shots where you can feel the road at the bottom of frame as well as get really close to the decals, etc. But instead, I'm gonna suspend myself on this harness at the back of my truck, swinging around this 1X2 360 camera on this three meter pole. Wanna shoot swooping cinematic shots for a fake commercial of my friend Jared driving this AC Cobra, supplied to me by the guys at AC Cobra in Cape Town. If you're ever looking for a car like this to cruise around in, you can check them out in my description. Let's do this. Dude, if this thing snaps, I die. This angle now, okay. Bro, I almost fell so badly. Okay, that's a wrap on this shot. Let's see how it looks. Tabletop food shots are a great addition to your filmmaking skill set. You can make many at home commercials for different food brands, as well as who doesn't enjoy a great cinematic breakfast montage. This little camera lets you get into tight spaces that you'd usually only be able to achieve with a probe lens attached to a really expensive cinema camera. I got my good friend Rubes to simply make some breakfast and see how epic I can make it look on this camera. Speak to me, speak to me. <laughs> what we're doing for the scene is creating a snorry cam effect, which is when you attach the camera to the object, which essentially makes you feel like the object, which is cool. Really immerses you into the piece. It's another advantage of this camera is it's waterproof. There's it. The bread. <laughs> I'm joking, cut it. Nice one, bro. Let's see what that looked like. Fast is served through. Thank you. For this next scene, I'm going to utilize this bullet time cord to shoot a 360 degree rotation around me while I surf. If it all works out, it should look pretty cool. Whoa! Oh shit! <laughs>
Oh my word, Dan lost the 360 camera. Oh. I should have realized when I threw it in the beginning, I flung over my hand, my hands are too cold. I got up on a wave, didn't even do one rotation. Oops! Camera's gone, Bru. Fuck. <laughs> Won't try that again. <laughs> Luckily, we got one more camera. For the final scene, I'm gonna combine all three techniques. The three meter long human jib shot, the snorri cam, and the bullet time shot to shoot a music video scene of the Joe Films band. Yeah. Don't worry about me. Did you film that shit? Yeah. When you add all those elements together, it looks something like this. Before signing out this video, I said I would show you what it looks like at 5.7k shooting 25 frames a second. So yeah, this is 5.7k, 25 frames a second. Nice and crisp. And there you have it. I waited till the edit was done so that I could say this with confidence that this little piece of gear is a must have in your arsenal if you're wanting to create cool shit. Easily. Please let me know in the comments below if there's a piece of gear you would like me to review next, or if you've created a piece of gear that you would like me to review, you can send it to the address that I've placed in the description below. Like this video, comment, and subscribe. It all helps with the algorithm. And other than that, don't forget, you're awesome, Brew, and I'll see you next week. If I said something wrong,